This is uh, Morten from uh, Inkis TV, and I'm here together with Roland from uh, Huber Group. And Huber is one of the well-known manufacturers of ink, and he actually told me things I didn't know. So, Roland, great nice to, to see you. Here. It's a pleasure. Let, let's start, like, I mean, first of all, I, I'm impressed. Your company is more than 250 years old. Yes, we are the oldest ink manufacturer in, in Europe and maybe in uh, worldwide. But uh, for Europe, we are the oldest one. And uh, uh, Huber is science this time uh, a family company. Yeah, it's amazing that you have been able to keep a family operated and owned company for so many years, right? Yes, of course. It's, um, yeah, it's uh, a pleasure and, and, and for, for some colleagues in the market, this is a, a surprise, but um, Uber is always uh, traditional, but a modern uh, ink manufacturer by Uber. We develop, engineered, produced and sells only our uh, products from fountain, inks and varnishes and also additives. And you, and you told me that you're one of the few manufacturers in Europe that actually develop and produce your own pigments. Yep. So no, normal, normally when you buy, uh, let's say, uh, ink for your printers, so normally when you buy from almost everybody else than Hooper, then they would have bought the pigments from somewhere else. Yes. Maybe even from you, right? Yes, uh, it's, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. of course. Uh, for example, Hooper is uh, the only pro worldwide uh, the only producer for Reflex Blue and uh, Graphic Reflex Blue. And also some special pigments. Uh, Huber, the, the the only or the second or second supply in the in the market. And um, speciality from Huber is uh, we are backward integrated. We are be able to, to produce the most of our pigments and also the most of our binder systems, oligomer, monomer for UV or uh, oil-based uh, binders for sheet fit offset. And we are working not only in offset, we have also flexor, gravure printing. And, uh, and I can give you an example for the market share. We, we are the market leader in folding carton worldwide um, from sheet fit, also conventional offset. And also we have an approximate average market share in, in, in Europe. 25 30 percent it depends from the market and from the from the application but but that is I mean that must be fantastic but that basically gives you a platform where you can both you can both serve an existing market but you can also invest in new technologies yeah. you said to me before we turn on the camera that uh, the UV market is, is interesting for you but I mean obviously it's your job to work yeah. with the UV right but it is because I mean a lot of people are looking into uh, using the UV curing especially the LED yeah. UV curing because of energy savings uh, faster turnaround time, uh, higher densities on uncoated substrate. I mean, there's a lot of advantages of moving into it, but there's still the price difference, right? Because the price difference between conventional ink and UV ink is still relatively high, right? Yeah, the, the price difference is um, around about factor two. Factor two, okay, yeah. yeah. But, but it used to be factor eight, as far as I remember, like in the beginning, right? It was yeah. like really, really expensive, right? Yeah. It's very expensive, but. Um, the, the, the cost of the ink is uh, one side of the metal. The, the other side is uh, you must uh, check the, the, the whole process. Yeah. For, for example, at the moment we, stray, we see a strong movement in the UV business. As I told you, uh, UV getting more to the specialities. But uh, for when you um, see the calculation, um, metal deco, for example. Metal decoration is a very special market. As a traditional conventional offset market, and now moved to the LED, LED UV. Why? With LED UV, they are be able to have an online, an inline process, and the the, the 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 printed product is cured. They didn't need the oven behind. Ah, so there's um, an energy saving just to do cost that. saving, yeah. no gas, yeah. and, and they can. Uh, no heating on the on the metal, and they can put the, the printed uh, sheet directly in the post press. Yeah. So that saves saves. Oh, sorry, it saves space uh, on uh, on the, on the floor, of course, because you don't have to dry. But you can also produce much faster because you don't have to wait, basically, right? Yeah. So that is uh, so the efficiency gain. When you talk to customers, do they see the the efficiency gain as compensating yeah. for the for the ink cost? 
So, yeah. so it is worthwhile yeah. doing, basically. And I can show you one, uh, one other example. For example, this, this product is uh, produced in, on a heatset machine yeah. uh, with LED UV. Yeah, and yeah, this is, so uh, normally you would have a gas oven, but here yeah, you have... With, without gas, yeah. without silicon. Yeah. Uh, and the end of the, the print um, or the, from the process is dry. You have no wave building, no uh, high gloss. And, and no smearing? No smearing, yes. And, and also the, not the, uh, what's typical is for heat set, shrinking of the cover. cover. Yeah. And, this is a, and this is absolutely sheet fit. Quality. With this customer, we work since one year the project, and now they have decided to, to take the invest because they have now we have a, a basement for the calculation after one year. You know it now, basically. And we right? see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we see. Uh, at begin was our uh, thing was the uh, the cost for for, for one uh, example is eight eight ten percent higher. But after one year, we see we have the same fixed cost as in heat set uh, uh, and, and the, the, ink, the ink cost in, uh, in, in heat set when you compare with UV inks is factor 3.5. Wow. But reducing of the energy cost, gas, silicon, also uh, better, better quality, the opportunity to, to offer some other uh, products uh, for the for the sales department is a good tool to collect new jobs, and uh, that shows us uh, we can produce in the same price level as uh, in past in heatset. And I think that story often needs to be told because I think yeah. that sometimes you just look at the cost of the ink or the cost of the energy yeah. instead of trying to look at the total cost of uh, of the finished product, right? Yeah, no. So I think. Uh, one other important thing, sorry for yeah, interrupting. No, no, other that. important thing is uh, sustainability. All of these uh, products also 100% able for the inking, which is of course very important. Yeah, yeah. Um, Roland, I can't help think about that. We are here at the ICUV days, yeah. and you now just gave me a very good reason why you're here because basically it's a huge opportunity for you to work with a company like IC because every time they install it on a press, you should be just uh, in the tail of them, right? Yeah, this is for, for us, it's, um, and I think for, for the whole uh, business, this is a very good opportunity to, um, to build a networking, yeah. to see also what, what is ongoing uh, by our competitors and also by um, Maybe even sell to some competitors, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we yeah, take that and we take that in our way. Fantastic. It's on the chemical division. But, yeah. um, yeah, and this, after Corona, this is fantastic to see the um, colleagues, cu colleagues, customer, and, um, yeah, and, and to, 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 um, to, to feel the, the atmosphere in the, in, the, in the business. Totally get it. Uh, so what I hear is that it's been great for you to be here and uh, it's a bright future for selling ink, right? Yes, of course. Fantastic. It's a pleasure for me. Thank well, you very much. Thank you.